Welcome, everybody. Uh, you all know that I have no interest whatsoever, no intention whatsoever, no motivation whatsoever to deceive you about the believability or the trustworthiness of anybody, but in particular in the context of the January 6th committee investigating the Trump riots. I have no interest in telling you that a witness is any more or less credible than they actually are. And in a few minutes, we're going to look at a specific claim made by former aide to former Trump chief of staff, Mark Meadows, uh, Cassidy Hutchinson. We're going to look at a specific claim she made that's being disputed and we will discuss. Is this plausible? Who do we think is telling the truth? We're going to look at that and she may have said something that wasn't true. We'll figure it out. But. First, we have to talk about these brazen and completely baseless smears that have launched against Cassidy Hutchinson. And it's a really great insight into how a propaganda outlet, in this case, Breitbart, the right wing propaganda outlet Breitbart, can generate what looks like a news story based on nothing. Headline from this morning Breitbart report. Cassidy Hutchinson fabricated testimony about conversation with former White House counsel Pat Cipollone. Whoa, report. This must be pretty serious. You start reading the article and you will very quickly see what this is about. The article reads Cassidy Hutchinson, a former White House aide who was the January 6th committee star witness during a surprise hearing held on Tuesday, reportedly fabricated pieces of her testimony about conversations she had with former White House counsel Pat Cipollone. OK, during her testimony, Hutchinson claimed that Cipollone told her to tell her boss, chief of staff Mark Meadows, that former President Trump should not go to the Capitol on January 6th. That's true. She did testify to that. Hutchinson testified. Cipollone said we're going to get charged with every crime imaginable if Trump went to the Capitol. The committee's vice chair, Liz Cheney, doubled down on her calls to get Cipollone to testify before the committee due to Hutchinson's testimony. As we heard yesterday, White House counsel Pat Cipollone had significant concerns about Trump's activities on January 6th. Cheney tweeted, it's time for Mr. Cipollone to testify on the record. Any concerns he has about the institutional interests of his prior office are outweighed by the need for his testimony. That's true. They are now they have now subpoenaed Pat Cipollone and we will get to that. But then it starts to get a little weird. The Breitbart article reads, however, Cipollone was reportedly not at the White House on the morning of January 6th. According to human events, senior editor Jack Posobiec. Uh oh. And then you look, what is the source of this report? And it is tweets from a conspiracy theorist, Jack Posobiec. That's the source. Jack Posobiec tweeted apropos of nothing, citing no sources, breaking multiple sources, including one who was at the White House on January 6. Tell me. Cipollone was not there in the AM when Hutchinson testified. She spoke with him. January 6th committee is aware of this discrepancy and are ignoring media inquiries about it. Seems she made up the entire conversation. OK, this is an example of the collapse of journalism. Now, remember, I don't do journalism. I do commentary. I'm not a reporter. OK, and so when I tell you where am I getting a story? I tell you, I'm getting this from a news reporting agency or I'm getting this from an opinion person or w whatever the case may be. Breitbart claims to be doing news and reporting. And when you look, they are just citing a tweet from a conspiracy theorist. That's it. That's the whole basis. Anybody who has worked at an actual journalism institution would know there are standards and practices and no serious journalism outfit would publish such a story based on a tweet from a conspiracy theorist. That's all it is. That's all that this is. There's nothing there. There's just nothing there. And when someone in Trump's orbit is trying to gather information to discredit a witness, and everybody's insisting on anonymity and none of them actually show up to testify under oath. And maybe some of them will. And then I'll change my perspective. When you publish something like this, you are you are becoming a node or in a signal booster of disinformation 
And by the way, it's disinformation all in the service of defending and running interference for those who tried to convert com completely subvert the democracy of the United States. But I guess it generates clicks. I don't know. Now, if Secret Service wants to testify under oath, whatever, if they want to do that, then let's listen to them and then we will have two competing under oath statements to evaluate and compare. OK, right now we have the under oath testimony of Cassidy Hutchinson and then we have you know unsourced tweets, vague statements about we would be willing to dispute elements of her testimony, but nobody's actually shown up under oath despite being invited by the January 6th committee. So that's what this is. This is pond scum. Now let's get to a more substantive claim about something Cassidy Hutchinson said, which is being uh, uh, contradicted specifically and narrowly. One of our sponsors is Magic Spoon, the only breakfast cereal that tastes exactly like your favorite sugary childhood cereals, but with zero sugar, only four net carbs and 14 grams of protein. So if you're just generally trying to keep your sugar intake relatively low like me or if you're doing low carb, if you're doing keto, you can enjoy the sweet nostalgic snack without the sugar in flavors like cocoa, fruity, frosted peanut butter, cookies and cream, maple waffle, blueberry, cinnamon. They've just added honey nut to their permanent collection. I love Magic Spoon. Our whole team does, and they've been supporting the show for years. How about this? If you try Magic Spoon and you don't think it's amazing like we do, they'll give you your money back because Magic Spoon stands behind their product because it's that good. You really can't tell it apart from the classic cereals. Build your own custom variety pack. You'll get five dollars off when you go to magicspoon.com slash Pacman and use the promo code Pacman. The link is in the description.